Hello everyone, happy Monday. We release our AI newsletter every Monday where we talk about the latest breakthroughs in the week that had happened. The new image models have been released. We are going to talk about that neural link by Tesla where they are implanting a brain chip and trying to control some thoughts. Some open source LLM news that has come that is performance is very great and it wants it has benchmarks that are very much comparative to the top GPT-4 Turbo and uh, a lot about things about uh, Apple Generative AI and the new developments. Uh, now coming to uh, the first thing about generative images, uh, we all know that uh, generative images is there for a long time. Uh, we have uh, now, as you can see in my screen, we have used uh, the Google Bard to generate images out there. So if you can see my screen, uh, if you can see uh, the latest things that are happening here, uh, you can uh, write directly from your uh, Google Bard. So you just mentioned uh, create an image. Uh, can you generate an image of the banner? So it has generated an image uh, as it is. So it gives you three, two options and then you can ask it to generate uh, some more options that are there. So it is very, very good feature that Google uh, has, Bard has re released their images and it is doing pretty well. Uh, uh, as well and it is very fast and it is giving us better response but regarding the uh, some ethical uh, it has more controls if you give it to generate some copyright images or something to do with some Disney character or something that is unethical like human with uh, eight arms and all those things so it is going to give you a warning and it is not going to generate so there are a lot of more controls over Google is barred images compared to the uh, mid journey and all the other tools that are available if you want to try more uh, about uh, google's uh, images there is a new also there is a place called as a google uh, ai text kitchen wherein you can give a prompt and you can uh, uh, play around with it you can ask it to generate uh, more images you can sign in with google it is a part of the image effects uh, solution all the new uh, things that are there regarding ai it comes into ai test uh, kitchen wherein you can uh, play around with it as you can see image image effects is here then there is music effects text effects all these new features come into ai test kitchen which is a combination of all the latest things from google wherein you can play around with and you can just sign in with google and you can uh, try out your commands and get early access to Google's beta models for you to generate image, text, music and all the other things that are there. So talking more about images, as you can see, uh, this is a detailed creation, the image, image effect that is a, a part of the test kitchen. You can have a dedicated interface for image generation uh, with Imagine and you you have more controls over this generation, uh, image generation content process and this tools allows for setting the seeds using prompt helpers and generating up to four images simultaneously for more refined creative process. So it's a good thing to try to go around. And now coming to a great news from mid journey, the users of mid journey, now they can create an anime uh, videos uh, by the help of the Niji model six alpha. This model Alpha 6 specializes in generating anime style images, enhancing mid journey capabilities in catering to the anime and cartoon visual arts community. And this model allows users to produce unique visuals by either modifying the prompts or adjusting the settings, which is a great option for the people who want to play around with it. Uh, two more things that are very, really uh, great, uh, specifically in the e commerce and marketing side Shopify has also launched their image AI uh, creator magic AI image editor wherein you can generate uh, amazing images for your products using the AI capability. So the thing when I saw the demo from the Shopify website, it uh, challenges you to create a studio ready images of your product. So you can give a very simple uh, pro product image from your mobile and it is going to give it an effect uh, such that it looks that it is professionally captured by high resolution cameras and a proper studio effect and which is very very good and it we all know that good images of products makes your shopping experience better for the consumers and more chances of your product to get purchased and also hubspot has launched a new ai powered 
campaign assistant uh, wherein you can uh, look into uh, create campaigns for google facebook by giving the persona of your company and your audience and it's a great tool and it is free for a particular tire so please go ahead and try to uh, look at it now coming to uh, something about uh, stroke nova stroke nova is uh, introducing a novel image generation technique so a lot of uh, news in this week about images so now microsoft also has a stroke nova and uh, it is a great thing uh, we have not tested it uh, a lot but it has uh, the capability is there to, in twitter that people are talking about this as well and then there is something called as the image to sound effect uh, and this is uh, about hugging face which translates visual inputs into audio clips show, uh, showing the potential of cross model ai application in enhancing uh, multimedia uh, content creation so this is a very amazing thing as well so now coming to our favorite chat gpt so if you know chat gpt they have launched an amazing feature which i am also going to do a workshop today about it wherein you can call various custom gpts within an environment uh, to do your work suppose you want to do a research on a particular topics so like logistic regression then you do a research using one of the uh, gpts like universal primer get proper details about that uh, that is uh, authentic and well researched then you can create that into a presentation using presentation gpts then you can create that into an ai video using invadio ai you can create that document using some other uh, everything under one uh, particular window you don't need to go and call different different plugins that was a big issue before now they have in incorporated these gpts and it is i think a good replacement of plugins for end users to build a, and become more effective in their work that is there also about this is an amazing news uh, that is uh, a leaked news but it is also something that the mistral has confirmed as well that they are working on a uh, open source model that is uh, almost right now when the leaderboard you can see it is in the fourth position and a uh, lot of uh, news about this that uh, it is going to also beat the GPT-4 uh, 1106 that has 86 percent it has almost reached 83 percent benchmark uh, in the EQ score and uh, we will look into it there are a lot of news and a lot of buzz around this particular thing if you can see this tweet by NB program uh, this particular tweet I will also put all the links that I have used in the comment so whatever make you it has some sort of special sauce it gets an 83.5 on the EQ bench surpassing every other LLM in the world except the GPT force which is very very powerful and it has a 0.97 correlation with MMLU and a 0.9 with arena it beats Mistral medium so it is the best Mistral medium model and uh, this is the news that has been leaked out and more confirmation has to come from Mistral but the future is uh, how Mistral is taking over the open source model uh, and uh, making it more and more better for the end user and a lot of things have to be uh, talked about this in our new uh, we will look, have a more detailed uh, broadcast from mistral when they officially launch this and it is available for users to test and also uh, meta is uh, has talked about is open source llama 70b uh, model and it is something more specific for code generation and uh, this is also a great news in the llm space now coming to our favorite apple uh, we all know that apple never uses the word ai in their uh, releases but now uh, tim cook is talking about this generative ai and how they are going to use generative ai capabilities uh, and specifically uh, siri is also going to get updated in this and all these things are going to happen in the, uh, the upcoming wdc in september 2024 but other than that a lot of buzz around uh, this space generative ai space and uh, we'll be looking forward they are not talking much about it right now but we will have a more detailed look at in the wdc and also we all know that op app apple vision pro is uh, the whoever have pre-ordered have re received it and 600 apps are now going to be a part of their uh, app and it is going to be a wonderful experience and it is going to be a big bet by apple how 
people are taking this application how what is the user adaptability of this application and we have to look into this and this is going to happen in the next few weeks as we know we all know about the browsing experiences we have talked about the arc search mobile browser feature wherein it is a wonderful way of browsing and it is giving you a future of browsing experience when i say future of browsing how how well how well you are able to see how well you are able to see this particular thing and this is really revolutionizing the way we are playing around with these llms and getting information from the content side that is there and also we have the new york times ai exploration they are forming a team dedicated to exploring ai in journalism now new york times has also come in the ai bandwagon and let us see what they are trying to do uh, especially ensuring journalistic integrity and human oversights that are there so these are some of the things that are very very good and also we have the some of the things about ai generated robo calls these things are happening a lot so fcc are taking some uh, precautions to make it uh, address the consumer protection again these scams and uh, they want to ban this uh, robo call and let's see uh how it works because bad actors will surely find a way to work around with this also we have this uh, cambridge robotic braille reader and these are some of the things that uh, are uh, coming up and wherein the robot can re understand uh, what is the braille uh, uh, by uh, using some technology and this is also a big breakthrough now we have morpheus one aimed at inducing lucid dreaming and neuralink successful human implant uh, implant uh, this is one thing that has to be looked at the in the details and we need to look at because this is a breakthrough wherein you can uh, see how a uh, chip can really control and uh, and help in understanding the brain so these are some of the updates uh, regarding uh, this week lot of ha actions happening in february 2024 uh specifically the image space as you can see uh, try out these applications i'll be also putting some of the links that i have discussed uh, in this uh, particular uh, space and we as a community are trying to do some workshops how we can use these ai tools for our more uh, for our benefit trying to create a repository of all the good apps for us to use uh, which i have been reviewed by our community members plus we want to do more of these workshops like the workshop that we are having today on custom gpt plus we are going to have a workshop on google gemini bard how to use it and uh, integrate it with your workflows and uh, thank you very much for watching do subscribe to our newsletter if you have not done the link will be there in the comment below as well have a great monday and see you in the next video